Zane Rutherford. Yakima Hollis, the Cornell star back in the United States. Japan and Hungary, bronze medal match number two at 65 kilos. This half of the bracket, just at 65, uh, was so loaded. It was like its own world championship just to get to the bronze medal match. Uh, you had multiple time world champions, multiple time world medalists, and that was just in a quarter bracket. To, so to get to here is pretty spectacular. Everybody wanted to be a part of this Olympic weight. So many of these athletes were at 61 before and went up to 65 just to try and qualify their country uh, for the for the Olympics in Tokyo. And we should remind our audience, all of these wrestlers that we are watching tonight in the bronze medal matches and eventually the gold of all guaranteed their country a spot in those Olympic Games in Tokyo next year. Otoguro had uh, to beat a multiple time world champion just to get to the second round of the repechage. And then he had to, uh, you know, beat somebody very tough just to get to the bronze medal match. But he had to beat Haji Aliyev, who had an amazing first round match just to get here. And we weren't even sure if Otoguro was going to be the Japanese representative as he nearly lost his spot to the Japanese teammate, Rei Higuchi who was also a world place winner. Yeah, I so, mean, they just man. keep coming if you're Japan. Reloading, reloading. You cannot rest on your laurels. The drums of Japan beating in the backdrop here in Bari Serena. Entertaining night of freestyle wrestling, both for the women and the men. In just a moment, we're gonna see someone on the clock. And it's gonna be Musakaev going to the activity period uh, it's his second warning. There's a rule in officiating that you can't have a 0-0 match going into the second period. You have to have a point at some point. And Muzakayev very quick to the drag right away. Again, he's conserving a little bit because in his earlier matches, he has come out like a ball of fire right from the get-go. But maybe he's just trying to rest his lungs to get into that second period. Maybe a little bit of an adjustment as he goes deeper. Finger locking, and they tag Japan with it, so this should give Hungary the point. Japan completely disagrees. And it probably will wipe off the activity yeah. period because their first point's on the board. That's right. With two seconds to go on that shot clock, they are going to confer. It is a three-person officiating crew in international wrestling. You see the Matt Chairman. You see the referee. Here comes the judge over to join the conversation. They want to make sure they get it right. It is a warning. So no point, no caution. Shot clock stays intact with two seconds. And that's a two-point swing. Absolutely, and totally. That's huge when you get to the end of the match. So one point on the board for Otogoro. <laughs> Japan with a one-nothing lead. <laughs> Otogoro came in as the two seed after having an amazing <laughs> year. Just <laughs> to be in that half the bracket. I'm sure that when all of the athletes looked at the bracket after it came through the draw, their heart just sunk knowing that they were going to have a war. They weren't meeting the average Joe in the first two rounds. Once again, you hear blue action. Musakayev really has not done a whole lot of attacking, and Otogura is so quick on his feet with, with his hands. Uh, I'm, but I'm surprised we didn't see a little bit more action in that first period. The depth in the Japanese wrestling room is so incredible. Otogura, the reigning world champion, nearly missed out on defending his Budapest gold medal after he took a loss to fellow countryman Rei Higuchi. It was the first loss to a Japanese opponent since his junior high days. But he was able to bounce back, come back, and quickly win. And chalked up a 5-0 victory. Japan holding a special wrestle-off. 
to see who would represent in these world championships. Notaguro spoke pretty freely to the media following that loss to his countrymen. He said it was heartbreaking, it was devastating. I hadn't suffered a loss in so many years. He, he kind of stepped back a little bit, but he says in the end it, it made him more hungry, which is what you hear lots of times from these champions who very rarely taste defeat. It's almost like you're pushing the rewind button a little bit. And if folks are watching wrestling for their first time, it is such an emotional game in the sport. That's why we don't even call it a game. You know, it's just wrestling. It's not you're playing it. But just that one-on-one -on -one and that no one to blame, it, it builds character, but it can also just tear your heart out. Blue action. And it's great that he can actually convey that and communicate that, uh, which, which can probably make him better in the end of the day. Odeguro with a, a shot to the face. That stunned the Hungarian a little bit, Musukayev. He's on the shot clock, so as expected, he goes up on that clock. Something that Odeguro is doing has really frustrated Musukayev. He's not too thrilled with those hands into the face. It's twice he's got popped around the eyes. Look at the sneaky attack and the finishing beautifully done. I think uh, Odeguro might have uh, upset the Hungarian Musikayev, and boy, he unleashed. But like I said, in the first period, we didn't see that quickness. That drag right to a level change, right to a double, transitioning right to out of bounds. He is quicker than the cat, and boy, that was pretty phenomenal. So he takes the lead two to one. Snap down, comes right back at him. Odeguro moving a little bit more freely as well. Now an empty shot by both wrestlers. Back and forth we go. Almost like two cats in a paper bag. Where are we going with that? They're just flying and moving around with nothing to show for it. Wow, that was amazing. Front paws extended and all. Driving the Hungarian near that passivity zone and a whistle, and there's a point. And that's a caution to Japan. He said he was in the face, on the fingers. And sometimes, kind of like we see in the game of football or soccer or whatever you want to call it, sometimes a little bit of pleading with the official and bad facial expressions can get you that caution in one sometimes. And I think as much as Otogoro was in the face, that was even more of Muzikayev showing that uh, he didn't like it. Yep. So now Hungary with a 3-1 lead. Muzikayev. As Brian mentioned, started his career rush, wrestling for the Russian Junior World Team. Placed fifth early in his career. Now at the senior level for Hungary, trying to close out last year's world champion in this way. Snap down, coming back around on the pass by. Switches to that double, has that leg extended. Quad pop position by Hungary. Activity near the edge. Japan needs two to try to take the lead. Still trying to keep him in, maybe thrusting for a throw, and out of bounds they go. Two is confirmed. Japan now three all. Hungary still has criteria, though. Because Otogura has a caution, caution, and they have the same amount of points, it's three to three, but uh, Otogoro has criteria. However, I mean, sorry, Musukayev has criteria. However, how smart was Otogoro not to go out of bounds there? He yeah. just stayed in perfect position, pulled him in, pulled him in. Musakayev, look at that shot, right to the takedown. The knee goes down, he's gonna get two more. Musakayev with two and a 5-3 lead. And Hungary, five seconds away from a bronze medal. But a girl comes launching in, no control established, and that is it. What a second period by Ishmael Musakayev. Hungary, you have a bronze at 65. That was amazing defense by Musakayev. Otogoro came behind for the gut. He kind of bumped his butt back into him, created just enough space to face him. Wow, that was amazing. Musakayev is an absolute stud and finishes with a bronze for Hungary. Pretty awesome. Like I said, emotionally, it's taxing on Otogoro. You know, knowing you're just that close and trying to trying to have a target on your back when you're the world champ and, and trying to regain it, boy, it's tough. He didn't like it. He didn't like that very much, did he? 
Musukayev, hungry. 